Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! It's been six months since I've made my last video, and before that it's been like six years. So, if you're still with me, you're one of the 41 people who are subscribed to this YouTube channel, hello! This video is for you. Ah, this is strange, but we're gonna get through it. As you can see, I'm in much better spirits than my previous video, so hopefully we'll have a good time today. So right now I'm in quarantine. <laughs> Not a lot of people know this, I just had gotten myself tested for COVID a couple of days ago. So now I'm in quarantine, today is like day three. So if you hear coughing in this video, I'm very sorry. Um, I have a throat lozenge, trying to keep that at bay. Also got myself some orange juice. And I've got some water. Good old H2O. So hopefully that'll keep that at bay. I am sorry if it does come up. Um, but anyway, I've been very bored sitting here so far. And I've been thinking about making YouTube videos again. So <laughs> I don't know if you can see that board over there, but it says welcome back to my YouTube channel. So something's happening. Anyway. So I was just thinking about the songs that have been getting me through quarantine so far. Like I said, I'm only on day three, but I made a top 10 list with two honorable mentions. And I just wanted to talk about those today. So hope that's cool with you guys. If it's not, click away. I don't know what to tell you. So let's get started. All right. <laughs> so I am going to explain a little bit about all of the songs. Um, and like why they have been getting me through quarantine um, and I'm not gonna get super in-depth with it and like I I'm honestly <laughs> I'm not gonna edit this I'm not gonna do little jump cuts and it's not gonna be anything like that this is a bold raw kind of video and if that's not your thing I'm really sorry but if it is I hope you <laughs> enjoy the video anyway cuz like I'm having a good time Anyway, so, number one and number two, they are kind of intermingled because they're by the same artist. So I'll tell you both and then I'll explain all the stuff about them. So number one, and these are not in any particular order either, I just kind of, as they went to me. So number one, I don't want to be you. And number two is Prom Queen. And both of these are sung by Katie Turner. Now, if you don't know Katie Turner, she, uh, I, this is from what I know. I, <laughs> I did not do all of the full research. This is from just things that I've heard about her since l listening to her music. So from what I understand, she started on American Idol and she kind of was a hit in the auditions, but she didn't make it through. And everyone was very confused and then she started her own YouTube channel and she started making music and putting it out to record and then she got picked up by Shane Dawson now I don't really want to speak on the whole Shane Dawson thing at this point there's way too much stuff happening it's a very Schrodinger's cat situation and I just don't want that for myself but that song both of those songs are very meaningful and I love a soprano. I love someone who can really use their voice and those two songs are very impressive to me and she seems like she's an underdog and yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have used jump cuts, but it's too late for that. Anyway, so number three is called I Swear and it's by All For One. So this song has been getting me through quarantine because well, it's just a very special song. It reminds me of when I was younger and I heard that song. When there were no worries in the world, things seemed like they were okay. Like, this was before 9-11 and all of that and the Twin Towers and wah. Because pretty much everything since there, everything since Harambe's death, you know, George Floyd, all of it. Downhill. But... <laughs> That song makes things feel okay, and it's getting me through. Like, yeah, I'm here by myself, but there are people who care about me. 
on the outside. And I think once all this is over, I'm really going to appreciate seeing them again. All of them. Number four <laughs> is I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz. I don't know how many people really listen to Jason Mraz. Like, <clears throat> I remember back in the day when he had a few hit songs, you know. Excuse me. I'm sorry for that. But I know that he had a few hits back in the day and people were kind of like, ooh, Jason Mraz, he's kind of funky, you know. He's got that, like, soul thing going, you know. Well, I really like Jason Mraz. And this song, I Won't Give Up, it is very inspiring because it reminds me of people that I know. And it makes me have that feeling with myself. And if I can get through this, this quarantine by myself, I can get through anything, baby. Like, try me. So that's why that's on there. Number five is Tempo by Lizzo featuring Missy Elliott. Now, if you have not noticed, I am a large girl. I also like to bring a beat every once in a while, you know? Lizzo is pretty cool. I enjoy her music from time to time. And this song in particular, because it has Missy Elliott, it has that like very pumped up vibe. And when you're feeling low and you're in quarantine, you feel like you just want to die. That's a really good feeling to have, just from a song. Like, earlier today, I was like, <laughs> but I was also, like, twerking it out a little bit. So, <laughs> that's on there, too. <laughs> um, number six is High Tops by Del Water Gap. And I just recently, probably in the last three or four months, heard this song for the first time. And it's pretty much been on my playlist ever since, and I listen to it, like, multiple times a day. And I do this with songs all the time, and sometimes they just never leave that, like, all-the-time playlist. Like, these kinds of songs are in the all-the-time, every-single-day type playlist. And, I don't know, I think that song's getting me through quarantine because it's just part of my daily routine, and it's kind of bringing that normalcy back, you know? into my life because what I'm experiencing is not normal. Anyway. Yeah. Um, number seven. Number seven is I've Just Seen a Face by the Beatles. And this is a song that I just heard for the first time recently in the last, like, few weeks. And, you know, there's just something about the Beatles. There's always gonna be, like, one hidden song that you've never heard of and then somehow you come across for the first time and it ends up being like the song where it's like why was this not a hit when it came out like don't get me wrong i love everything the beatles have made and that i've heard and i know i haven't heard everything because i just heard this song for the first time a few weeks ago and i love the hits but i am one of those people that's there for the hidden gems of the artist like i don't go for the song that made it onto the record no I want the song, I don't want Everywhere by Michelle Branch. I want that song where she's talking about uh, something about the way you looked at me. I don't remember exactly what the song was called, but it was not a hit song. And it's like, I don't understand, but <laughs> I'm getting too passionate about it. But that song, I feel like, is one of those songs. And that's why it's getting me through quarantine. Um, <laughs> the next song is Shoop by Salt and Peppa. I'm not about to go through it right now, but I can rap. And this is one of those songs that I can rap to flawlessly. And it's like, kind of cool. So... <laughs> I love that song, especially for quarantine, because it's it's giving me that positive vibe, and it's giving me that funky, fresh feeling, so I'm not feeling so, ooh, I'm done. 
I feel very sassy today, so I'm so sorry to anyone who's watching this who thinks this is way too much. Because honestly, I can't lie to you. I agree with you. Okay. Number nine is Shaggy by Angel. Or... <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so it's Angel by Shaggy. That's what I meant to say. And this song is getting me through quarantine because there was a incident that happened at work my last day that I worked with someone. And that song came on and they started singing that song. And <laughs> it was so unexpected. And it was sung flawlessly. And every time I think of that song, it makes me think, just as soon as this is over, you can go back to work and experience those things again. And that's getting me through. And then number 10 is Million Reasons by Lady Gaga. And this song... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So, million reasons. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wow. Okay. So, million reasons by Lady Gaga is on this list because this is a song that has gotten me through a lot of hard times. When I went from Toronto to Edmonton, from where I used to live, I'll cover all that in a later date. I know it's been six years since I've made a video and you have no idea what I'm talking about, but I lived in Toronto for a while and then I had to move to Edmonton. Um, <laughs> when I was going through that move, I was very upset because I was leaving a job that I loved more than any job I've ever had in my whole life and going to this place where I was going to be away from everyone, my family, my friends, everything. And I listened to that song the entire way on the plane. And I just felt so sad. But that song kind of helped me get through that flight and not cry as much. <laughs> and I'm hoping that it will do the same for this quarantine. <laughs> because it is tough. It doesn't seem like it would be. But especially when you're by yourself all the time, 24-7, day in, day out, it gets kind of old. So that's what's up. And that's the 10. But, like I said, I have two honorable mentions that I'm not going to talk a lot about, a lot about, hopefully. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to mention them because they're, like, really great songs. So, number one of the honorable mentions is Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi. And <laughs> this is going to sound kind of weird, but they play this where I work every single day because it's on the radio. And at first I didn't really like the song because I don't really like newer songs very much until I hear them like 50 times. And then I'm like, okay, now I know all the words just out of like pure habit and whatever. So I end up liking the song and loving the song and being obsessed with the song and now I'm obsessed with the song. And uh, yeah. That's kind of where we're at, and it gives me a little bit of normalcy and stuff into my routine when I listen to it, because I'm used to listening to it at least twice a day. And the second one is Tiny Dancer by Elton John. If you can't tell from my shirt, which you probably can't because my lighting is horrific, I love Elton John very much. I just kind of like popped it in my shirt there, that was kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. but. I love Elton John, and that song in particular, I started listening to it more and more and more once the Elton John movie came out last summer, and I loved Elton John before that. I saw him in concert in, I think, 2013. It was my first concert ever, and I've never been to one since, and I don't want to go to another one until I see Elton John again. So, with that being said, Tiny Dancer is an amazing song. It does have a very long intro, 
But once it gets into the actual song and more so into, like, the beat and the chorus that people know and love so much, I think it gets you to appreciate the song a lot more. And it's actually become one of my favorite Elton John songs. Other than uh, <laughs> Honky Cat, I really enjoy that song as well. But this isn't about that. So, Tiny Dancer, Elton John. If you've never heard it, if you've never heard Elton John in your life, I, I, I encourage you, I ask you, as a subscriber to my channel, please, listen to Tiny Dancer and tell me what you think about it. Because I really appreciate that song. And I feel like whoever is subscribed to my channel gets me and knows me, and maybe they have the same heart that I do, and they kind of feel that way too. So I really, I, I really want to know. I'm just curious. Anyway, so that's everything that I have to say right now. So I'm going to go get some rest, eat some of this orange juice, and take a nap. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Uh, maybe I'll make quarantine videos again. Maybe if anyone enjoys this. Um, Alright, bye! Stop.